so hello everybody welcome to this video in this video we are going to learn about how you can analyze your spatially distributed data and after that calculate the area of that map finally we'll also smooth our map so what you need at first is you need to add your study area that is your shape file so what is your area of interest you know I'm now going to drag mine this is my area of interest next part is add your location data I'm going to add my location data. Go to browse and go to the folder where you have stored your location data. So here you have to notice that the X field is longitude y field is latitude and you have also you have to make sure that geographic coordinate system is in WGS 1984 if it is not in this format go to edit section and Click Geographic Coordinate System. After that, Word. Then find out where is WGS 1984 and click here. Apply. Okay. And okay. That's it. So before we move forward, I want to give you a little intuition about my data about what my data is about actually so here's my data read only format no problem here it is Lat it is latitude now longitude then I have bicarbonate data and calcium data and I would like to show in a map how calcium concentration <coughs> differs from one location to another using a map so the way I can show that is called interpolation method and we are going to use IDW method interpolation method you can also use quinging method so here type IDW and enter IDW under the specialized tool go here fine input point features point features is latitude longitude okay it's taking a little time what happened okay, no problem Now Z, Z field, Z value field is very important. It is on which parameter you are going to interpolate your map. So I am going to use calcium. And output raster, give it a output file name. I am going to QA, give this QA, save it. Okay. You are not done yet. Number of points. I got 64 points it doesn't matter it will work same now under environment you go to processing extent and here give it study area that is your shape file and go down in the raster analysis section under masking section 
again select study area that is your shape file or area of interest click ok and ok hopefully it will not crash I don't know Now my interpolation method is okay. Yes, successfully implemented at W. Fine. So now go to oh, unselect them. Then you'll see your map. To make your map in the right position, to take your map in the right position, click here in full extent. Okay, fine. Or you can right click here and go to zoom to layer. Fine. Now I would like to classify it. Classify my calcium concentrations in three categories. So under symbology, symbology section, go to classify classes. I want to give it three classes. And you could change the color also as you want it's up to you fine apply okay so you have made your interpolated map and now i'm going to use another thing properties go to display section and click display show map tips no. allow interactive display apply It's not working. Okay, fine. That's not a problem. Yes, now it's working. You see, the concentration amount is shown in beside your hand beside your cursor and we are now going to fix if you zoom your map you will see this ugly thing and you can fix it by using your study the shape file make it hollow Hey, how is it? Yes, here is hollow. And increase outline. Okay. Fine. Now we are all set, we are going to measure our area under each classes. I would like to know this class occupying how much area of my study area. So go to search section and write project raster. Project uh, All right. Rest. And under data management tool, okay. Input raster. Your raster is your interpolated map. QA. And 
give it out file name. I'm going to name it. Right. Oh, now this section is very important. Output coordinate system. Go to projected coordinate system. If you don't know your projected coordinate system, then search it on Google. You will easily find it. Go to UTM. Drag okay. WGS 924 Northern Hemisphere. For Bangladesh, it is in between 45 and 46. 44, 45 maybe. For this location, it is 45, I know. Come Google it. You can Google it. Okay. My last projection is running. Well, it's done. Now, what you need to do is Again, you need to reclassify this map. Spatial Analyst. And border map. Oh no, it's not give. Give a projected map then reclassify it classify it we provided it three glasses okay fine everything fine output location name save oh yeah Yes. By this method, you don't have to use any raster calculator. If you use raster calculator and if you have more than three categories, then you have need to use raster calculator more than one times. But in a reclassification system, you don't have to use it multiple times. Just use it one time. So now right click here, go to open attribute table, <coughs> and see count value. You don't have any area yet. So to have an area, to have your <coughs> area, go to properties again. source and copy your cell size control c copy it fine okay now you need for i need one another column for my area so go to here click add field name it area and it's going to be double okay now again right click here field calculator yes double click here multiply it by cell size two times and divide it by 10 to the power 6 because we want our unit in kilometer square oh, shit.
I'm going to divide it by one. One, two, three. Fine. Click OK. Calculating area. Okay, fine. We have successfully calculated our area for three different classes. Now see. When you select one, it's all automatically colored, highlighted. Again. Fine. So, if you would like to remove this ugly appearance go to properties and go to display and select bilinear interpolation apply okay boom it's gone but still a little but it's okay see so use it fine that's it for tomorrow for today we'll see you in another video until next time thank you